It's funny how money changes situation. Miscommunication leads to complications. Hi, my name is Chelsea Bouchard, and this is the exclusive gossip interview for Rihanna. Um, the first topic I did want to speak on is how she has grown as an artist from good girl going bad to where she is now. I feel like she's took a lot of risks as an individual and as an artist, now, as a fashion icon, as well as a singer, as an artist. She has changed her look, like cutting her hair and, you know, getting more tattoos. So I really do admire her and I admire her efforts for female empowerment and just everything that she tries to do for feminism and for black women and black women in the industry as well. Her charity events such as the Diamond Ball and I feel like it was a good look for her because she's raised over three million dollars for people who are in Malawi, Africa through her other foundations that are connected in order to give them the things that they need for their education, like their vice time where it was Fashion Week in Paris, and she wore a Black Panther out a Black Panther um, suit outfit, and I just thought that was a big deal, you know? Like, there's a lot of things that are happening in this world that Black people do not get recognition for, especially Black women, and... I'm sure she probably has to deal with that in the industry. I know there was a time because I still don't know. Um, she did a Victoria's Secret fashion show. And Kendall Jenner was one of the contestants. And Kendall Jenner was one of the contestants. She has a heart of gold. I'm somebody who has a heart of gold as well. So I really do admire her and I admire her efforts for female empowerment and just everything that she tries to for feminism and for black women and black women in the industry as well um i feel like she's also paved the way for other celebrities with her charity events such as the diamond ball and i feel like it was a good look for her because she's raised over three million dollars for people who are in Malawi, africa through her other foundations that are connected in order to give them the things, the things that they need for their education, like their bicycles, because they don't have transportation. They're not safe. They're not in a safe environment for them to go to school and to get a good education and to have a good quality lifestyle. So I, it's really nice that she wants to give out to her community and do good things. Um, another thing that she is known for being is the Black Madonna, um, like the weird black girl, Fenty Beauty. That is the most inclusive beauty brand line in 2017. Like, it tops off MAC, it tops off Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I think that it's really good. It makes women feel beautiful, whether they're light or whether they're dark. And it almost kind of unifies us in a sense because sometimes people don't feel beautiful whether they have makeup on or whether they don't. But it's natural. And I feel like. D face. So to start with, we're gonna use the primer. One of the things I really love about it is the color. It's like this soft, pinky nude. It's really feminine. But it's not that white, chalky color. And it's amazing because it works on every skin tone. Cool. So now we're going to get into the foundation. I wanted to make sure all skin tones were covered. I wanted it to look like perfect skin, not like makeup on skin. These are really cool. And they're, they're magnetic. These come in 20 shades. I wanted every girl to have their color. I love the consistency. This one, it, it, it goes from cream to powder. Shimmer sticks. I like to look at these shimmer sticks like I look at my clothes in the closet. Eventually, you probably have like eight of these between the matte sticks and the shimmer sticks. The Kilowatt Freestyle Highlight it is such a high shine. Look at that. Wow. wow. Just like, like what? Wow. One take. Deep face.